What's up guys? So here's the almost finished product of the new Iron Rock off-road heavy duty one and a quarter inch solid cold roll steel tie rod and drag link steering kit. It's an over the knuckle kit so you can see the tie rod actually bolts on top of the steering knuckle instead of the bottom like the stock setup and a lot of aftermarket setups. And the only thing that's below the knuckle is the drag link and the only reason it's below the knuckle is to clear the sway bar connect um, at least that's what it looks like to me so this video will show you some of the work that went into getting this on to be honest with you the steering kit went on pretty easily what we also did at the same time was install new upper and lower ball joints and uh, <clears throat> excuse me we went with uh, Moog really high quality they're not the cheapest parts you'll buy but they're going to last a long time which is great because it's really hard work doing the upper and lower ball joints so you'll see that in the video i want to give a big shout out to my buddy joel gonzalez he's a, a really great mechanic a perfectionist he takes his time he does things right he did 90 percent of the work on this the only thing i did was get the jeep up on jack stands and uh, knock off the old steering he did pretty much everything else and he's always working on this Jeep so thanks a lot Joel and uh, you know it really pays off to buy the the nice high quality stuff and have a professional who knows what they're doing put it on so the only thing left we have to do is uh, install a steering stabilizer you can see we've got the bracket right there for it and then it bolts on uh, to the stock location so we got to do that and then a professional alignment and we'll be good to go. I did drive this home last night from Joel's garage and I gotta say, talk about a smooth, just solid steering kit. This is way better than any of the Rusty's off-road stuff I've had on here. Awesome kit. This high quality, grade eight, five eighths inch heavy duty hardware and all these heim joints and everything, the way they smoothly pivot at any angle, it's just amazing. And I have to say, I used to not have a lot of confidence in this clamp style setup because the stock setup used something similar to that but we tested this out when we were torquing uh, when we were actually torquing on this end getting the tie rod in in there we were using this clamp to hold the rest of the bar from rotating while that was being done and it's super strong so that definitely you know increased my confidence in this clamp style setup so great kit and Iron Rock Off-Road, I gotta say they're on top of their shit. They had this in stock. They shipped it right away. It came within a few days. And I had printed out their detailed instructions on their website. But I forgot to take them to Joel's house. And guess what? They even packed in uh, printed out instructions in the box for us. Just these two bars right here, the tie rod and the drag link. Since they're solid steel, they weighed 42 pounds. Okay, in the video you'll see, you know, how dinky the rusty stuff looks compared to this. And obviously it got bent really bad on a boulder on the Rubicon Trail. So, highly recommend Iron Rock Off-Road. I will definitely, uh, definitely be going with them for a long arm setup. Their 7 inch premium long arm suspension lift kit. And also their rock sliders, just based on the quality and the ease of installation on their steering kit. So if you're not already, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the video, and I'll make sure I do more of them. What's up guys? Got the ZJ up in the air, uh, getting ready to take off all the bent, Rusty's off-road steering components. You can see that the uh, tie rod's got a little downward bend to it, and also a front to back bend right there by the differential cover, a boulder impacted that and actually pushed it all the way into the differential cover. So this uh, hollow tube style tie rod and drag link are coming off. I'm leaving the Rusty's adjustable track bar in the front. You can see I've got the HD track bar mount over there and then the adjustable track bar coming down over here. That's been working out well. I got no complaints on that. But the Rusty's tie rod and the uh, drag link both of those are coming off and we're switching to a iron rock off-road inch and a quarter solid steel cold rolled steel uh, when the ups package came there's only the two bars and some hardware in there and uh, the package weighed 42 pounds just for the two bars so that tells you you know solid steel it's heavy duty stuff 
Also what we're going to do, it's an over the knuckle system. So instead of being below the steering knuckle here, the tie rod will be up above. The drag link's still going to come down, bolt down here. I guess that's just clearance issues with the sway bar connection here. Um, so they do it down the bottom, but I still have tons of clearance. It just comes out and then starts angling up. Um, but I went with the heavy duty 5 8 inch hardware upgrade. I think it was only $20 more. So we're going to actually drill these knuckles out. I got a 5 8 drill bit. We're going to drill the knuckles out, and I think there's one more thing we got to drill out. I don't know if it's the Pittman arm or one of the, uh, the clamps up there on that end. But we'll get that all drilled out, and then we'll have a solid steel tie rod and a solid steel drag link over the knuckle, and that should take care of my steering problems. The other thing I got is uh, you can see where the Pittman arm bolts to the steering box right here. I got on eBay, I'll put the link information, I want to say it's only 69 bucks. I got a brace that basically bolts across, see where the sway bar bolts on? You got two bolts right there. And then on this side, you can't see it, but you got two more bolts over here. Well, I got a brace that actually connects the two uh, frame rails and then has a piece that wraps around the neck of the steering gear up there to support it, to keep it from flexing because with 35 by 1250 tires, there's a lot of rubber hitting the ground and it's just killing this steering box trying to steer it. So I guess the whole thing will actually flex back and forth so with this steel bar connecting the frame rails there and then wrapping around, you don't even have to remove the pitman arm or the steering gear. It unbolts and wraps a, around this. It'll make more sense when I show you guys later when I actually install it. But that's supposed to do a lot because it takes away any flex that's happening. So it's supposed to do a lot for your steering and your handling. And then once I get this bent stuff out of here, that should do even more for me because right now this uh, uh, tie rod actually makes contact with the track bar uh, at certain steering points so you can feel stuff binding up and you know clicking and clanking and slamming and doing everything it's not supposed to so anyways this is all the rusty stuff getting ready to come off I just took all the pins out of the castle nuts so I'm going to start busting these off and then we'll start putting on the iron rock stuff and uh, should be good to go so we got all the old bent steering stuff off now and Joel's working on the ball joints. So he's got the axle out, the whole uh, knuckle and everything's off there. The brakes all taken apart, everything's all over here. Um, putting in Moog ball joints upper and lower and then just putting the axle back in, probably upgrade that later. I saw Iron Rock Off-Road has a heavy-duty axle kit, um, both sides with upgraded U-joints, so I'll probably get those when I go to do the gears with the locker in the front. So, so far so good. Be getting the new stuff on soon. We're gonna have to jack it up, bro. Alright. 